It's a nearly identical scene to the one the day before. An ACE train stuck on these Sunol tracks in Niles Canyon between Fremont and Pleasanton because of a mudslide. The impact startling the 223 people on board the train. I had fallen asleep finally and then boom. And was woken up. Union Pacific says the slide that came directly onto the train at 5.30 Wednesday morning was a direct result of the rainfall that the area has been seeing. These images showing what passengers saw inside after the shocking impact. I was dazed out, oh, what happened, you know, and then everybody's saying, oh, we hit a tree. And then we saw the mud up against the, the window. It sounded like I was asleep. It sounded like it was, like we hit a vehicle or something. It was so powerful. It just rocked us. Passengers Wednesday were stranded for several hours, just as they were the day before. But this most recent incident had one major difference. Uh, a little bit more unfortunate today, uh, there were three passengers who, who experienced some minor injuries due to uh, the incident. Do we know anything of the nature of those injuries? Uh, no, not at this time. David Ace Train Perry, spokesperson no David LaPerry says that Union Pacific crews conducted a full track inspection and brought in specialized equipment to clear the corridor before another train comes through. But that process is the same one done the day before after that mudslide. What kind of words do you have to say to the passengers who might be a little bit of afraid or worried about a potential next time? Yeah, you know, I think that that is a, obviously a reasonable concern. Two slides uh, back to back. Uh, is a little bit, uh, you know, unprecedented for us. I think one of the things that, that passengers should know is that both from the Union Pacific side as well as from the San Joaquin Regional Rail Commission who owns and operates the ACE train, that the, the safety of the passengers is our number one priority. So as we're assessing the corridor and the safety of operations within the corridor, we have the passenger safety at, at top of mind. So certainly we're not gonna initialize operations unless we know that the corridor is safe, uh, that is our, our top priority.